From the studio that's finally running out of young adult franchises comes the fourth film in the Hunger Games trilogy that confirms once and for all Catching Fire will be remembered as the good Hunger Games movie. The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 They've been building to the conclusion of the Hunger Games franchise since 2012. Now, after two child murder Super Bowls and one unnecessary feature-length prologue, strap in for the long-awaited finale where Katniss Everdeen completes her epic revenge quest to murder President Snow by not murdering President Snow. <laughs> Wait, are you kidding me? They just calmly talk in a rose garden? You call that a satisfying conclusion? That's like Kill Bill if they never killed Bill. The all-out war you've been waiting for since the first Hunger Games is finally here, and you don't get to see any of it. Instead, gear up for a joyless parade of less exciting stuff, like more boring districts discussions. But I'm not sure that anyone outside of two knows what we've been up against. We were under attack in District 8. District 12. We're standing together with 13 districts. Filming viral videos. Hold it. Pollux tighter. Okay. All new red shirts. I'm Lieutenant Jackson. These are the League sisters. This is Second Lieutenant Mitchell. This is Corporal Holmes. Casually walking through war zones. And hanging out with tiger people. Tigers, thank you for everything you've done. Hang on a second, tiger people? Really? Since when are there tiger people in this world? And don't tell me they're in the book, you book people. That so doesn't count. You rolled your eyes in Mockingjay Part 1 when Katniss could not shut the f*** up about saving PETA. You left PETA, then you should have saved PETA. Now, cringe as his character evolves from a liability who almost gets people killed to a liability who actively kills people who no one in the entire franchise can shut the f*** up about. It's hard to see PETA this way. That's not PETA. I saw PETA. If PETA didn't kill it, her own arrogance did. It was PETA that she wanted rescued from the arena. You saw PETA, didn't you? And Peter Malone. It's from Peter. It's for Peter. Peter. Hey, Peter. Peter! Isn't it obvious? The next move is to kill me. Man, even Peter's over Peter. After four long years waiting for the epic final chapter of The Hunger Games, watch it limp to the finish line in an underwhelming conclusion featuring reading letters. Maybe the country was shocked tonight by your arrow, but once again, I was not. Now I'm loving every moment with my son. He reminds me every day of his father. Cadna screaming at a cat. And adding insult to injury, Cadna's actually choosing Peta over Gale. Goodbye, Gale. I mean, come on! You're choosing Cake Boss over a Hemsworth? I mean, sure, he was maybe responsible for bombing and killing your sister, but look at this kiss, man. That's what I'm talking about. Now look at how you kiss Peta. Look at me. Now let's see that Gale smooch again in slow motion. See, now that's how I would do it. I mean, you know, if I were Katniss. Gale's a total hunkasaurus rex that any guy, I, I mean, any girl, would be totally lucky to make out with. Why are they putting the pita on a pedestal? I would totally choose Gale. I mean, you know, if I were Katniss, that, ah, screw it. Gale's hot and I would make out with that face in a heartbeat. Starring Katniss ever done with these movies. Mallory Archer, a waste of a perfectly good Tucci, Teenage Foggy Nelson Turtle, 3D printed killer powders, more Captain Phasma than in Star Wars, PETA, let's see, Pan? Have we done that one already? We're really running out of jokes for the same cast, guys. Hey, Mitch, you're done with these movies? Uh, that one isn't great. Gail, uh, Oprah's friend? You know what? They didn't put any effort into ending this franchise, so neither will we. It's a little tedious after all these years. You said it, girl. Mock, yeah, ing, yeah, J, yeah, part two. Ugh, I am so over these movies. Four movies, and the only actual choice Katniss makes is saving her sister in the first one. At least that worked out. Ooh, never mind. Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Trailers. Do you dare mock the son of a shepherd?
Der plant. Mustafar is red, Camino is blue. You were my brother, Anakin. I loved you. It's called a hustle, sweetheart. All right, I've run out of patience. Under ruse. Time to make the chimney f***ing changes.